Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back to Welcome Farms. This is our family multiplayer series. Finally, after a lot of time, got back into uh, some recording. Uh, we did a little swap of Ruski after the map was updated, so we got that handled. Uh, well, we didn't really handle anything. We just moved over. Uh, you guys doing okay today? Yep, we are. Good. You excited about finally moving over here to the farm? Finally. Finally. Not in some old roach-filled shack. <laughs> well, so what we have done uh, at the end of the last episode, uh, we had, I think it was uh, just over a million dollars by the time we sell, sold all of the land and our equipment and the uh, silage spells that we had. Uh, we bought the Walker plot here, and that bumped us down to, I think, 978000 And so we made a decision to buy a field. Now, the field we have bought is this one directly across from us. I think it is field number three. I'll check the it map is. here. Yep, field number three. So we have that. So we have the Welker land, the farmland, or the farmyard land. The farmyard. <laughs> The farmyard that's up here, which is included, and then we have field number three. So, you see, we have $277,000 left, and we ended up buying a couple tractors. The uh, old uh, international there that's pulling the tether we found uh, on sale, so we picked that up, and... The rest of the equipment we have bought new. We've got these mowers, we've got the Puma here, and uh, we bought a rake and a bell. So, oh, and we have a, we have a toy. <laughs> we have a toy. Speaking of toys, how the about lizard you? lizard dino. How about you take over mowing for me for a minute? Thank you. Yep, so we got a little toy here. Uh, it's actually pretty neat. Uh, it's got a trader hitch on it. It's got flames, so you know it goes fast. It does. Yeah, oh, how fast have you gone? Pretty fast. Oh. Way too fast. Ah. Uh, so, we have not done anything to the Walker land here, as you can see. Uh, we have the building still in place. Uh, there's our baler. We went with the, old, the John Deere baler there for now. We hope to upgrade it at some point. And then our hay rake is still down at the shop. But we've done a little bit of discussion on what we want to do and how we want to use our uh, equipment and land here. So first thing we're going to do is we're selling these silos. So while the boys are over there uh, getting that hay made... I'm going to go ahead and sell these silos. This is going to give us a little bit of money back. And what we'll end up doing is putting in a silo that we can drive through at some point. But these are all empty. So we're going to go ahead and sell them and get a little bit of cash back. Now we do have the silos up at the other plot. And we'll go up there and uh, sell those as well. I wish we didn't have all these trees in the way. Yeah, we may have to cut some of those down. You mean all of them? <laughs> no, not <laughs> all of them. Alright, so I wonder how we... Is that auger? Are we going to have to tow that down to sell it? I'm not real sure. Uh, yeah, it looks like... You know what? I'm just going to sell it here from the... From the farm, okay? Okay. okay. We're going to lose a little bit of cash on it, but that's okay. All right, so we sold the auger. So that area is... Oh, no, where's the... Oh, shoo! I thought I sold the... <laughs> the little lizard dino. But it was behind me. All right, so I'm going to run up the... you missed a spot. I'm going to run up the road here, and... Uh, we'll go ahead and sell those other silos. So this field here we have, it is 
in need of plowing and it had been planted with grass before we purchased it so well as you can see it hasn't sprouted yet but hopefully it will soon so what we intend now that we are moved over to the Welker uh, Welker farm is we're going to try and get some animals we've been putting off getting some animals but it is time so we're going to try to do that so over here we have a couple silos these big radian silos we're going to sell those too the boys did not want to use augers to fill these so we're just going to get rid of them we're too lazy for that well it's not about being lazy it's just how you want to play so that's how we're going to do it so there are some uh, junk items over here we could sell the decorations I'm not going to do that just yet we do have the silo over here that we can drive through now this is not located at the farm so we would have to transport the materials up here which we may have to do at some point or at least until we get a silo bit built at the farm so how are you guys doing down there you about got it wrapped up I think we're done. Okay, so probably need to uh, scoot down to the uh, shop and pick up the, the rake. And that way we can get to uh, mow it. Probably want to take the puma, it's a little faster than that international, I believe. So just drop those. Oh, was there? Oh, there's grass out here you could mow if you wanted to. Well, we don't have to right now. We'll, we'll say that for later. So we didn't know quite what to get as far as the uh, equipment. We are trying to stick with Case. Eli, you want to come over here and drop the uh, mowers off? Where are you? Oh, I see you. See me wave my hand? And my head? Mm -hmm. In my whole body. That door's in the way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You gonna drop those off? Where? Just drop them off, and you gotta head up to the store and get the the rake. You looking good today? I like your shirt and pants. And your cap. Thanks. You're welcome. So, yeah, we're going to get some animals. The first thing we're going to do is put in some cows and chickens. Uh, and that's why we're uh, getting this hay made up here. We're going to uh, have that for the cows. And we we'll also... Hey, you missed a, a spot over here with some grass. And then that way we'll get uh, this cleared off so we can plant or place the cow pasture. What do you mean I missed a spot? And there's some over here that you missed too. Tedding or mowing? Yeah, tedding. Look, right here. And there's some more over here. Here's a, a big blob of grass right here. It looks like a bush. Nope. And then over here, uh, there's some in between these trees. I think we're going to have to take some of these trees down. I know. I, it, it blends in with the shadow. I can't see it. Right over here by me. We need to get done with this. It. Yeah. Actually, get this right here on your way to me. Come turn toward me. And right here. Alright, and then there's a big old strip over here. Here's some here. So I get the windrow thing? That's correct. 
Okay. See the strip here? I see it. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to put down a cow pen and then some chickens. Uh, our problem is we don't have any wheat saved up for the chickens, so we'll have to... We was looking at maybe getting a contract that was harvesting wheat, but I can't find one. There's a canola corn and a oats and soybeans, but no wheat, so that's not going to work. Oh wow, we're back up to uh, seven hundred thousand dollars. I did not realize we How made that. How did we get that much? Because of the uh, silos we sold. Gosh, well, that's good. Man, those birds are loud. Bless you. So we're hoping we can get back into a little bit better groove here on this series. We haven't really put too many episodes out trying to get everybody together to record. Sit down and record it has been a challenge lately, uh, but we're going to try to do better. How we come in with our rake. Is it is there a problem? Kinda. Is there? Oh no. What would be the problem? Kinda stuck on a car. What? Oh, I'm free. Oh, you're lucky. Never mind. You probably because you're driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh. <laughs> Remind me not to let you drive ever. You silly boy. So on the last, uh, well, last iteration of the map, we did have this field, uh, these two fields over here. We had a little house here, and uh, of course we sold all that off. And we're now on the newest version of the map, and so hopefully we don't have to update it anymore or anything that causes any major changes so we do need another tractor I can see that already but we're kind of trying to hold off to see where we land after we get some of this stuff bought so that we don't sp Got it. spend too much Oh, you're going to go ahead and take that? I'll tell you what. I'll do a little bit of... Y'all can't leave that buggy alone, can you? I was getting out. All right, who wants to uh, do a little mowing or bailing for us? Me. I think the tractor, that international, should pull that baler just fine. I like bailing. I might get out of shit. Now, we're going to have a little bit of a problem... <laughs> this windrow rake it is uh, so big I think it's going to have trouble around some of these trees uh, we went ahead and bought the biggest one they made just so we didn't have to ever upgrade it where's the baler it is in the uh, big shed the big big one well the one on the left The door was open. I don't see it. The one with all the big doors? Uh, oh, I see it. Okay. I think. Yep, did you see that I did flip? I did not see the flip. 
Well, I think I did. Oh. Probably best not to do that. Okay. Yeah, we are going to have a problem. I cannot get between the trees, I don't think. Oh boy. Nope. It's not going to happen. So what are we going to do? Well, what? no, we're going to have to cut some trees down, I think. At some point. Um... Well, that's aggravating. Yeah, that's really angry. That, uh, that windrow actually goes down that b line of bushes. I'm sorry about that. It's going to be a little hard to see. I'm making a mess so of this. Seven miles an hour. Seven. Seven. It should go faster than that. I thought that beller went faster. It's going seven. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, and I'm going pedal to the metal. Let's let's Not take a look and see. Control or anything. Let's check the menu here. The baler is supposed to go ten miles an hour. It needs 115 horsepower. And you have 170. I can run faster than you. I wonder if it's messed up. Oh, you know what? That tractor was a uh, used deal. I bet it needs to be repaired. Ah. Uh, Eli. Yes. Why is the cart upside down? <laughs> uh, I had a little trouble. You did. <laughs> Just a little. Huh. Yeah, it looks like a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, I did two flips. <laughs> two and a half. Listen, listen. If you're going to yeah. if you're going to flip, you got to learn to stick to landing now. It was an accident. <laughs> you know, everybody on. The World Wide Web now knows that you flipped that thing. So? Well, two and a half flips. It's funny. It's funny. It is. So are you our comedy relief act? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, folks, that's what I have to deal with. Could somebody get... Could somebody run into it? Yes, I'll run into it. Thank you. Hold on. You're missing a bunch of spots with the rake. Yay. Well, I can't get in between the trees. Hey, get out of the way, Eli. Sorry. <laughs> it won't slow down fast enough. Go drive in, go drive in front of Daddy. No, don't do okay. that. He's heading your way. Did you see that one? Yes, I saw that. Where are you flipping? How are you doing How are that? You... Mm. <laughs> Is there like a ramp? No. Nope. Is he just flipping on the flat ground? Yeah. How? I don't know. Let me try. Hello. I guess he just knows how to do it. I don't think he knows. <laughs> He's figured I it out. I do not.
How many bells have you made? It doesn't look like too many. I don't know. I can't, I don't even see any. Oh. No. Probably not much. You said that you want to try? Yeah. You bail. Okay. Oh, I figured it out. Bye. I did it! But did you land it? Yep. Nice. And all the flips I did, I did not. Triple flip. All right. Well, we're gonna. I did a quadruple nipple kipple. Well, be careful. All right, folks. Well, we went down to the shop and grabbed a grinder because we just wanted to get those trees out of the way. So you see, we have them stacked up here behind the shed, and it looks a lot better. Well, maybe it doesn't look better, but it'll be easier to get around out here and so we went ahead and bought this bell loading wagon so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of these bells here always getting into some I think it's gonna be hard finding some of these bells I think I think he dropped some of them in the bushes. I think so too. If I see any in the bushes, I'll nudge them out. Okay. Actually didn't make very many bells at all on this spot, did it? Yeah, I don't think there was much grass there. Of course, these are the, uh, what size bells are you making? I didn't pay attention. Oh, well that may be I don't why. think they're the, I think they're the big ones. Okay. 220 CM. Are those the big ones? That's the middle. The oh. Oh yeah, because there's... 240, I 200. think. Yeah, 240. Alright, I'm headed back to get the uh, rake. There you go. Thank you. Oh, uh, Eli, you put this timber out here you need to move that or oh who, who put it the log on the roof it's in the way oh I'm moving it okay I was at a ladder I know all right Baylor man we got some more for you to bail up I think that is all to rake. We'll get this moved over here. I don't like all this stuff in the yard. Me neither. It's easy to drive over it. We may have to do On a accident. little rearranging with some things out here. That'd be nice.
Okay. Any more bells? Wait. You got one in there? One. Okay. I think it's tiny. Got it. Very good. So if you want to move that tractor over by the sheds, and uh, we'll go ahead and put down our first pin. Where are we putting it? Over this grass area? Yeah, where we just mowed. Okay. All right, so let's do that right now. You ready? I guess. So the mod I found is called a feedlot, and it holds a thousand cows. I saw that. Yeah. So we're going to give that a shot. Now I'm not sure which way, actually let me turn on something here in my menu so that I can see which way this thing is going to set. I gotta turn on the triggers. There we go. Alright, so I think what we'll do is we'll put it back over here. Is it a building? Uh, no, it is a thing, but I can't get it to. I tried to maximize where we put it so that we don't uh, use up so much space. There we go. See it? Oh, I see it. So there Wait, are some weird. Yeah, I know. There's some panels that we got to put down to build it up. Oh. So we'll do that probably off camera because that's going to take a while. But that's our feedlot. Don't turn off the uh, triggers yet because we'll need that to you build mean the fence. Grid? Yeah, the grid. Don't turn off the grid. Okay. So, all right, we have cows. Well, not yet. We have a cow pen. Oh, we have a cow pen. That's correct. <laughs> and an ugly grid inside. But yeah, that doesn't look great, does it? No, but it's it, like it'll get turned off. Okay, nasty. Oh yeah, that does look weird. Yeah. So food goes in. I thought it'd be in. like a white grid. So I guess we don't need water. Should we go ahead and buy what? a cow? One cow, yes. <laughs> Let's do that just to see. Uh, what kind of should we do? Uh, Angus? Let's do some Angus. Or how about some limousine? Yep. What do you think? Angus. Those are the ones in the. And should we get a a full size cow? Full sized. All right. We're just we buying get maximum one. Maximum steak. Oh, there she is. So one thousand dollars. Yeah, they're expensive, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So it appears we do not have to give them water. So that'll be good. I'm not sure if there are triggers for slurry and milk. I don't think there is. We'll have to put something down, and then we'll build our fence off camera. That'll take a little bit of time and cost us a little bit of money. So I think that's a good uh, good progress for the day. What do you guys think? Sounds good. All right. We're I think done a lot. Thank y'all for the hard work. You did a good, great job. Thanks. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please be sure to click that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Leave a comment for the boys. Let them know how good they're doing here on this series and as always thanks for watching thanks for watching